After his Damascus Road experience with Jesus Christ in Acts 9, 17, he's identified as a brother. From a sadistic man to a brother. In Acts 9, 22 to 26, he's accepted as a disciple. In Acts 13, verse 1, among five prophets and teachers, he's listed last. He is the least. And then the Lord spoke to the leadership there and said, separate unto me Barnabas and Saul, whom I have called to serve me. And so they were sent out in Acts 13 and verse 2. And you'll notice that it was Barnabas and Saul. And then as they go out, they come to the island of Paphos and they run into a demon-possessed guy and Saul of Tarsus takes charge and the proconsul believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't it interesting that after he took charge in Acts 13, 13, it says Paul and his party then departed and went on their journey. Not only is there that name change, which is significant, Saul means strong and mighty. That's what he was in his own mind. Paul being his Greek middle name means little and insignificant. Demote yourself from your high estimation and you will have begun a transformed life.